RTD bus drivers told Denver 7 there weren't enough masks to go around, which made them feel unsafe. Artists can't help but let the generosity of their souls really surface at all moments. Enter the Red Line Contemporary Art Center, which was forced to close when the governor issued his stay-at-home order. It's heartbreaking when I found out that my projects were being uh, canceled and that I wasn't sure of what I was going to do next. Then Redline got a call from Mile High Connects yeah. to see if there were any artists willing to make face masks for RTD. Matthew Stearns was among a handful that responded. My mother's a nurse and I know how important it is to stay protected. And so this project really meant a lot to me. Redline's executive director had already farmed out some mask making projects after hearing from another artist whose husband works at the Coalition for the Homeless, where folks were really worried about the pandemic. We saw immediately this moment to connect the two needs, an economic crisis, uh, the crisis around livelihood, and as well as a public health crisis, and how those two entities could work in tandem to solve two communities' challenges in at least a small way. Maggie Lee at Mile High Connects also reached out to Yeti Cycles to see if they could help. They switched production from bicycles to personal protective gear and made 2,000 face masks and 240 plastic shields for RTD. Talk about a community coming together meeting the demands, connecting the dots, ensuring that frontline essential workers are protected and therefore the community is protected in this novel situation that we're in. Bus drivers now breathing much easier. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.